hi guys and welcome once again back here to my channel today we are going to do a teacher gift idea for the end of the school year so i'm going to start off with a foam board that you could buy at the dollar tree and i already pre-measured these for another project so i don't need them but each line is an inch and a half um wide so i'm going to go ahead and, and make sure that it measures three inches wide and you're going to do this measure measure and draw a line it's fine and mine are going to have lines um the painting we're doing it's going to um, cover that up you're going to take your blade and you're going to cut all the way down and you want to make sure you keep that straight line because it'll give you a nice little edge all the way to the end and let me see if I did that right. Uh, no. So it's fine. All I have to do is um, give it another. Sorry about that. Give it another um, cut. And there we go. And that should do it. Yep. Yep. It did. So we're going to take the um, piece to the side. And we're going to work with our three inches wide that we just cut. Now, to get that pointy edge, um, where did I leave my pencil? Oh, there it is. I'm going to measure from one corner to seven inches until I get that seven on the edge. Like so. Make sure it's right there in the corner. And then you're just going to draw that line. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to see. Really, uh, there it is. So then we're going to um, measure from one of the other corner till we get to seven. And if you see, see my mouth moving and whatnot, um, we're having a discussion on a, a, a sitcom we're watching on TV right now. But um, And this is why we're doing a voiceover on this video. So we're going to go ahead and get your blade again and go ahead and cut it. Sorry guys, I forgot to put my notifications on silent. So there you go. We're going to go ahead and cut that edge and we're going to do the same at that line that's going to be left over like so all the way through. So you should have something that is starting to resemble a pencil. And there I am. We're like I said, we're talking about a, 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 a show we're watching. So now your next step is you're going to get your ruler and from the bottom of the pencil, you're going to measure three inches up and you're just going to mark three inches across like so and you're going to draw a line connecting those um, marks you're making across make sure it's straight one more mark i'm going to go ahead and draw a line like so and then let me show you guys. See that? Sorry about the um, the shininess, guys. I should have closed the curtains to my um, to my living room. And now we're gonna do another measurement, and this one's gonna be two and a half. And we're gonna mark two and a half across. And we're gonna do the same, guys. We're gonna just mark, and then we're going to connect. And then we're going to do it like so. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Anyways, as I was saying, and we're going to mark, and we're just going to draw a line across. And it's going to look something like this. Okay, and um, do I connect? Yes. So the top part of the pencil, you want to connect where those angles are at. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to show you guys again. This is the only bad part about um, over voicing. There it is. Like so. So now we're going to paint. And as you guys know, I love using my sponge brushes on this. And we're just going to use black paint. And this paint I get from Walmart. And I do put them upside down so I can get all the paint out. And we're just going to paint, paint, paint. Um, if you want, you could put um, tape to get that perfect line. But I find it that it's just a little bit time consuming for this project. 
and you know if there isn't a straight line on that black it's fine now on this if you guys want to go ahead and paint double-sided that's fine the way i'm going to do this project is i'm going to tie a ribbon to the um top and that way the teachers can hang it against their wall so there's no need for me to paint it double side so we're done with the edge of the pencil and i'm gonna take my paint to paint the eraser sorry guys it's magenta bright magenta musing and my husband's laughing right now because he's like much you show everything and i'm like yes i have to show everything so here we go and then you paint that as well. This one doesn't have to be a straight straight edge um, because we're going to put a black ribbon in that little space that we um, created. So if it's not straight, it's fine. And we're just gonna paint. And like I said, this is why I love these um, brushes, these um, sponge brushes. They don't leave streaks. They like they make it nice and pretty. So. I'm gonna do that like I said it doesn't have to be perfect but you know it just has to be down strokes and then we're going to go ahead let me do this really quick and I think we're gonna do yellow next and like I said those lines that I had on there previously it doesn't matter I'm gonna paint over it but um I didn't want to, you know, waste any paper. This is how it looks so far. And now we're going to do the yellow. And I'm using this one. And we're going to hit and paint what's the... What is it called? The... The yellow part of it, of the pencil. And again, I do put my um, paints upside down. I shouldn't have left it there, guys. Sorry about that. It's out of frame. But I put them like that because um, I like to use every single drop of paint. So we're just going to go ahead and paint. I do apologize for that. I did not even notice. I was really in the zone. And we're just going to paint, paint, paint. And like I said, you could paint. It doesn't have to be straight at the bottom. At the top, it kind of does. But not at the bottom because there's going to be that black ribbon. I am painting the edges though. That I am painting. So we're going to go ahead and paint the edges, but not the back. And like I mentioned, you guys, it's really up to your preferences if you would like to um, paint the back as well. So I'm going to go ahead and paint that part. Just strokes up and down. It's a quick, quick and easy um, project to do. So... Let me get a little bit more of the yellow. Yellow is a not so um, bright color, or it is bright, but it you know it takes a couple of coats for it to be the yellow that you want, and that's fine. So you do have to have this dry, guys. And it took maybe about I left it outside, and it's really really hot right now in Southern California. It's 98 degrees right now. It's super hot. So I did leave this outside to dry and it I, I got dry maybe in like five minutes. I kid you not. That's how hot it's here. So that's how it looks. So far so good. And after I let it dry and um, I did go over it one more time. So maybe two or three coats. I'm going to take the ribbon. It's black. It's 7 eighth ribbon. And we're going to cut it. So it get um, it'll go right over like that. See, guys, this is why it didn't matter if you guys had it um, um, straight or not on those bottom edges. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna measure it to make sure it goes around. This one I am gonna put around only because it's gonna make it. Um, I could I have room to stretch it so there's no um, um, air pockets. I guess you call them. So the ribbon's not um, wrinkled. We're gonna go. I already measured and I'm gonna go ahead and cut. See, that's me. I'm looking at my husband. He must have said something. <laughs> and I'm telling him, I'm making a video. Do not interrupt. So, we're gonna go ahead and make sure it's where I want it. Get the glue gun. And then we're going to go ahead and glue. And then, you know, just give it a little like that. And then just turn it around and connect 
it to the back like so okay so I'm gonna go ahead and cut like that and then oh I burned myself <laughs> it's fine and we're gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a pat down and yeah guys look it's really coming along now you can really um see that it looks like a pencil look at that so nice so pretty so now i'm going to go ahead and get a sharpie and we're going to go ahead and write the teacher's name so let's go ahead and write it and i do this um what do you call it Every time I stop the pen, the the mark, I just go ahead and uh, make a little like dot or circle. I make it very big. Um, you, if you guys have pretty writing, go ahead and do it. Or you guys have a Cricut and you guys want to um, go ahead and cut it out with pretty cursive writing, you could do that as well. Um, I have neither nor I I know I need to get one guys as crafty as I am and um, You guys could just do anything what you guys want on the writing like I said me I I did this little style here, and I was looking to make sure I don't misspell the the name of the teacher and There you go. There's my son always trying to be in my videos <laughs> Okay guys, so there it is Look at that. Um, to, in order to use the, the, the Sharpie, it has to be super, super dry. So there it is, guys. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe, share, like, you know, um, and make it for your teacher. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye, guys.